Works the ball via Dara Keane. And now Duffy's it. Good run from him in, on the inside of the box. Crosses across the face of goal. A very dangerous cross. It was Dara Keane actually there. UCD had two players in running and Bowes were a little bit caught there, Dano, on the yeah, turn. Yeah, that's great. Playing through the lines. UCD, it's brilliant. Picked up... Uh, Dylan Duffy. I think it was Dara Keane. Picked up yeah. a lovely little position between the midfield and the back four and he's just slid Dylan Duffy down the side of Max Morby. It's a great play. He's got to do better with the ball across. Bowes need to keep them in here and then right into the corner. Especially with that wind there. to Twardek and he feeds it back to Kelly. Kelly back in feeds to Flores. That's to James Clark. James Clark turns well. Moves towards the box, keeps the possession well. What can you do with the cross? Well, he gets the ball away. Is it Mullins? It's in the side netting. That's Bo's first time to show. Excellent play by James Clark there. Kept possession well, turned his man, kept on his feet, got the cross away. And Jamie Mullins just didn't quite have the angle. Yeah, as I said about Jordan Flores, that's much better. He's passed the ball 10 yards and Clash picks up as a good position. And back to Ty Ryan to start again for Bowes. Really high work rate again from UCD. Yeah, Donald. they're pressing there. Sometimes they sit up, sometimes they press. It's very good. They're setting little traps when they're pressing when nothing. Long, do oh, long ball there. To oh, poor header. Salmon's asleep. And it's Twardek who strikes it. A superb strike by Twardek, an excellent save by Kean Moore just under his crossbar. But from out of nothing, Bowes almost take the lead. Definitely the best chance or half chance of the game. Chris Twardek let fly from long range. A super effort there and a great save by the goalkeeper. Yeah, it's, it's, the wind's taking effect there. I think it's put Alex Stone off and Evan O'Sam was asleep. I don't know, you should have read the danger that uh, some of the other players could take notes off Chris Twardek. He's cold, he probably maybe hasn't been as good as a, the Bowes fans and player Detzer and Keats it hasn't been good enough this year but stuff like that you appreciate. This is Feeney going forward, feeds James Clark who scores! Oh, A super goal by James Clark, fed by Rory Feely and after 39 and a half minutes Bowes take the lead, James Clark's first goal for the club, fed brilliantly by the on-rushing Rory Feely who broke superbly from midfield. James Clark the young man signed from Drogheda United in the summer for an undisclosed fee Arguably, arguably being the best of the summer sign is Keith Long brought in. Gets his goal there for Bowes, a super strike. And it's Bowes who leads Dano as we approach the 40th minute. You'd have to say, maybe a little harsh on UCD. Uh, commentator's course, isn't it? You usually do something bad, but Rory Feely's done excellent. I think he's 10 yards outside the 18 yard box and slides uh, James Clark. And he pushed the finish of the ball beautifully underneath the goalkeeper. Feely, a characteristic forward run. A little body swerve, releases it to his right side, and Clark, a super finish, very composed. Very tidy play by Feeney there, used yeah, experience. It's, it's ex Pats, ex Waterford, stuff like, the block. That, stuff like that throughout the season, he's been making errors, and that's that's where the fans kind of got at him. But other than like when he doesn't make errors and concentrates, he's a, he's a great defender. Tordek with the stop over into the box, great ball from Tordek. Oh, and the in rushing diving header there was nearly perfect by Ethan Varian. Yeah, Chris has added today. It's a great ball in. We a super forward, really. ball, yeah. Just in that area where the goalkeeper couldn't come. It's in between the defender and the fullback. It's uh, McDade. It was actually McDade, across, wasn't it? Yeah. it was, uh, I thought it was Varian who got in there. It was Declan McDade who was coming in the back post. Goes back to Jack Keeney, his captain. Centre half. Keeney clips the ball forward, but it's well read that time by Rory, Rory Feely. That's for Twardek. Tordek retains possession despite the hard Ooh. challenge by Dara Keane. But that's come for Dylan Duffy. And he releases Lonigan on the left. Lonigan's first time cross right great. towards Duffy. Ooh. And it's broken for UCD, but it's charged down. Another shot just time, this time over the bar. It's a chance. That's it a great job by Tom Lockery. He's done well to dig out the cross. It's just. It was the first time nature of it, Dano, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Max Murphy done excellent. He made a great tackle. Here it is here. Digs out the cross. Just behind Dylan Duffy a little bit. Great yeah. tackle by Max Morby. Threw his body in front of the ball. The second shot went over the bar. Chances. Doherty for Tordek. Chris Tordek's good to see him back. To and there too. is the final whistle. Ray Matthews blows the final whistle here at Daly Mount Park. Bowes have emerged victorious. And they've won their second home game in a row. 1-0 here against UCD. The only goal of the game scored in the 40th minute by James Clark, his first for the club.
good result happy with the result obviously good three points uh, performance there's a lot more there I feel um, definitely is first half was a bit of Bit, bit dire to be honest with you I don't think we could, we got the fans off that seat really much but second half we were a little bit better we created a lot more chances and if we take one or two of them then the scoreline looks a lot better obviously